In many parts of the Philippines, if a child doesn't know how to read and write, they are not allowed to enter the public school system. Many poor parents are illiterate, and so it is very difficult for them to prepare their children for schools. When a pastor applies for an ICM kindergarten, he finds two teachers who want to help their community. He uses a survey to find the 30 neediest children in his community. These children are taught a curriculum in maths, science, English and Filipino for 10 months to prepare them for grade 1. For many of these, this is the first time in their lives that they receive meals every day. They also get school supplies and medical checks to create a great start to their education. We ask the mothers of the children to participate in the program by preparing lunch daily from nutritious rice meals that ICM provides. They also receive our VHL training every week so that the whole family benefits. The kindergartens are staffed by locals who are paid local wages, and the kindergartens don't pay rent as they meet in church buildings that would otherwise remain empty all week. The total cost of running a kindergarten every day for 10 months for 30 children is only $6,000, that includes all the teachers and curricula, and one-third of that money is used to buy the food for the hungry children. Every year in March, the pupils gather for a graduation ceremony. We give awards, see songs and dances from the children, and send them off to excel in elementary school. Last year alone, we graduated about 2,000 preschoolers. But we don't leave the children there. We provide a scholarship to our graduates to help them stay in school for many years. We've stayed in touch with many of these kids and at school they have a reputation for being intelligent, confident and very well behaved. Many of our graduates remain top of their class throughout school. In June, ICM will have more than 6,000 of our graduates on scholarships. The longer a child stays in school, the lower their chance of living their lives in poverty.